I'm sorry to have to inform fans of President Trump, but occasionally someone whom people admire greatly does deserve some criticism. And in this case, just a few months ago, President Trump gave us a fleeting moment, a scintilla of hope that perhaps, just perhaps, manufacturers of automobiles, light trucks, and SUVs, and the buyers and sellers connected to them might actually escape a May 1st, 2018 deadline mandated by the Obama administration that all those new vehicles have backup cameras put into them. You'll find the story at mrctv.org, and it does pertain to a 2014 mandate from the Obama administration, but this itself has to do with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and that is a holdover from the Nixon administration. The NHTSA, it's called. <gasps> Thank you, President Nixon. Anything with TSA in it must be really awesome. The easiest course would be for me to blame those to whom I delegated the responsibility. Anyway, the 2014 mandate also is connected to a 2008 law that was passed that set all this in motion. And I use air quotes for a specific reason. Actually, I use air quotes for two specific reasons. First of all, there is no provision in the Constitution that grants the Congress the power to tell manufacturers of anything, to tell sellers of anything, or buyers of anything, how they will make, sell, or buy something. It simply does not exist as a power granted to the Congress. And if they want the power, then they have to amend the Constitution. But of course, they won't bother. The second reason I do this is because many people today use the term law when they really mean statute. And there's a profound distinction between statute and law. Statute is an edict which is foist upon us by the state while law pertains to what Enlightenment thinkers understood was natural law, that which describes our natural rights, the set of things that we inherently have unto ourselves just by existing. So for example, you have a right to be left alone by me, and I have a right to be left alone by you. Now, if I were to tell you, no, you will make something this way. No, you will sell something the way I tell you. No, you will buy what I want you to buy, isn't the color a little dark? Believe me, you'll get used to it. That would be immoral. It doesn't matter whether I do it myself or I get a gang of people like Congress to pass a statute. It's still immoral. And also, it destroys the economic calculations that are so important for a free market to thrive. You see, the ethical tie to economics pertains to natural law. We have to leave our neighbors alone and respect our neighbors' decisions about his money, time, and existence. Leave me alone. I know what I'm drinking. So, for example, since the Congress and the NHTSA tell us it will make us safer... The federal government will soon require rear visibility or backup cameras on all cars. It doesn't necessarily mean it will make us safer to have these cameras on the backs of cars. They say that 200 people a year die because of these backup accidents, and that by imposing this, they will save lives. But they're missing the fact that individuals must decide where that fine line is between safety and utility. I mean, heck, the NHTSA could dictate that automobiles could only go five miles an hour, that they could never go backwards, that they're surrounded by bubbles, but that would make them totally useless or virtually useless to individuals. We have to be able to decide these things. And in fact, by imposing these expensive impositions, and they will be expensive, costing millions and at, over time, billions of dollars for consumers, that takes away the consumer's opportunity to spend money on something that might make them safe in a different way. That's missed. So for example, by having to spend hundreds of dollars more for a car that has a backup camera in it when they didn't want the backup camera, in fact, someone might not be able to buy snow tires for a season, and that would put them at greater risk. These impositions are immoral and they disconnect the economy from the source of the economic valuation. And it's extremely important to keep this in mind. The folks in Congress don't think about these things. And you will not be given the opportunity to talk to them about this because they'll say it's for your own good. How ethical is that? 
it's sad to say that Donald Trump gave us a little bit of hope that perhaps he recognized these things. And hey, perhaps in the future he will. But this time, he fell flat. Just something we have to keep in mind. Thanks for watching us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and spread the word about us. For MRC-TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.